we smile, we shake hands, we say everything is wonderful over at Newman Abbott, Mr. Atinsky. Nothing has changed. Except for all of the executives and the loads of bad press. Of course, Abby is listing all of the things we won't be saying at the meeting. It was a joke. And quite frankly, the CEO being at this meeting, it looks like you have nothing better to do. Am I being invited to leave? You can go. We've, we've got this. Peace sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Goodbye. Okay. We'll see you back at the office. All right. Now, mm. since I am senior executive, I will be taking the lead. Got it? Hmm. Oh, gosh, this tea is sweetened. Um, can I get an unsweetened tea, please, and lemon slices washed? Stop talking. Well, you have to have the slices washed or else you get dirt Stop and bugs talking. in there. Well, you'll have to wash those lemons yourself. I'm here about a $5 million contract. How about you? <sighs> Mr. Ratinsky, sit. Please. I am so sorry. Um, Abby Newman, this is my colleague, Chelsea Newman. <laughs> Are uh, you two interns or something? You know, building up your resumes? Actually, I am COO of Newman Abbott. Intern, though, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I certainly like looking like I'm still in college. <laughs> you know, this kind of meeting usually goes through my account managers in your business department. Yes, we are quite aware, but given the current circumstances at Newman Abbott, surely you've heard about the recent turmoil. Yeah, that's why we're glad, Annie, so I don't worry about your company going down the toilet or my company being paid for services rendered. But, well, when they send a couple of junior execs, I have no, to... No, as Abby said, she is COO. <laughs> you know what? Enough talking. We don't need to impress you. This is a clear case of supply and demand. We need point-to-point -point distribution, and you need accounts as massive as ours. So we either make a deal today or you move on to other accounts and we find another trucking company. Fine, whatever. But right now, what I want to talk about is a ride in your 18-wheel big rig. And I didn't even tell Dad about Mom. Abby knows you didn't drive a big rig up to the valet here. <laughs> I mean, you run a huge national company. Of course, you're not a driver yourself. Well, I used to be a driver. I built my business one rig at a time. You don't say. Oh, that's so interesting, because I like to think I'm actually doing the same. But with dresses, not rigs. I started designing clothing out of my living room, and now here I am. There's something to be said about a self-made business person like you or my father. They know their business inside and out. Yep, and we want to get to know your business better as well. Which is why I want to ride on that rig. <laughs> Damn. You two get it. I'll call legal, and we'll get started on that contract. Uh, speaking of the contract, correct me if I'm wrong, but the new Newman Abbott contract is much larger than the previous one, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct, which is why I think it's time to discuss a reduction in fees. A what? We're doing more business with you than before, but at the same rate as before. When a company buys lots of units of my product, I lower the price per piece. Using that logic, you could cut our billing costs. And we're not talking about an inversely proportional discount. You're getting 20% more business. We just want a 5% rate cut. 5%? That's crazy talk. It sounds like good business to me. All right, 2%. Three and we shake. And I still get a ride on that big rig. Hot damn. Hot damn indeed. 